Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. I, would, I don't like to say good morning. I'm still trying to figure out how to not say that word because morning to me, good morning and morning is the same thing. So great arising, everyone. God bless you. God bless you today. God bless you this morning. Uh, thank you for being patient with me. I know I've been out for a little while, but I'm back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I am back. I'm going to be sharing the broadcast with a few people. God is so good. Um, he's God bless you, Krista. God bless you. God has been good. He's been so good. Like I tell you, he's been better than good. Um, I have a lot to share. Just a lot to talk about. Um, what God wants me to say, though. Uh, we, 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 as the body of Christ, we better stand up and we better stand up quick because the enemy is coming and he's coming strong. The Antichrist is already in the church, whether you want to believe it or not, he's already in the church. Okay. Uh, we need to, we need to d discern the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, because the, 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 Antichrist is not coming. He's already here. Oh, God, I feel you, Jesus. He's already here. He's here. He is here. And we are sleeping. We're sleeping. And um, the sad part about it is, is that we believe everything we hear. Everything that we hear, we believe. Hallelujah, Jesus, help us. Help us, help us, help us, help us. But I have a lot. I'm just sharing right now, you guys, and then I'm gonna um, pray us in, and we're gonna we're gonna do whatever God wants us to do. I know this morning He gave me um, Joseph, Joseph, in the Bible, where his brothers betrayed him. Some of you are going through some things right now where you're being betrayed, you're being lied on, you're being cast down. You're being looked down on. There's a lot of things that's going on in your lives. But God has a reason for all of it. Amen. So, Father God, we just thank you, Lord. I thank you for this virtual room right now. I thank you for every person that's on here. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for your mercy and your grace. I thank you for keeping us. I thank you for loving us. I thank you for caring for us. I thank you for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do, Father. Father, I just thank you this morning for keeping us. Even through the things that we see and we cannot see, I thank you for keeping us and protecting us through all of the different things that's going on. Thank you for the angels of protection that are on us, around us, and keeping us, oh God. Give us an ear to hear your voice clearly, Father God. Father God, give us an ear to hear you clearly in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, help us. Help us to know you personally, Father God, and not through other people, but to know you personally, so we'd be able to understand and how to move and how not to move and when to go and when not to go. Help us to know you, know you personally, because a lot of us say we know you, but we don't really know you, Father God, and help us, Father. Help us this morning, God. I pray that you completely take me out, Father God, that you will continue you move through me this morning like never before and speak the words that you want me to speak to your people, Father. This is not about me. This is about all you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, Sandra. God bless you, Tracy. God bless you, Ebony. God bless you, each and every one of them. God bless you this morning. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast because God really wants to bless his people. He wants to move in his people's life. But we are going to talk about Joseph um, because there's something going on. I asked God, what did he want me to talk about this morning? Because I don't know what the people of God need. And he kept giving me Joseph. He kept giving me Joseph. So I don't know what's going on, but he said Joseph. So we're going to talk about Joseph. We're going to talk about Joseph because it's obviously this is going to be connected to something that's going on in your life right now. So Joseph was second youngest of 12 brothers born to Jacob, who was called Israel in Genesis 37, 3 to 4. So we're going to look at Genesis 37, 3 to 4 and find out what's going on. Because we know a little bit about Joseph. We know that he was betrayed by his brothers, his own brothers. 
Some of you, God has already warned you about people. He's already told you to leave some of these people alone, but you're still dealing with them. It says, and it says number three, and it says, now Israel loved David, Joseph more than any one of his sons. Because he had been born to him in his old age. And he came in ornate robe for him. He made an ornate robe, the, the robe of many colors. And he made an ornate robe for him. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. This is for some of you that's in your season of favor. Because some of you are in your favor season right now. And yes, you do got some haters. Whether you believe it or not, you do got some haters. But right now, some of you are walking in your season of favor. You are in your season of favor. And I hear God clearly saying that you're in the season of favor right now. And then you got some people around you that really don't appreciate the, the fact that you're being blessed. And some of them already, you already know that God already told you to let them go, but you refuse to let them go. And there are hindrance to you. And I don't care for family members because I recently have to cut off my family completely off. Because every time they came to me, they came to me with drama and I don't do drama. I'm trying to really live this life. I will pray for them. I will ask God to save them, sanctify them, fill them with the Holy Spirit, whatever God wants me to do, but I will not deal with drama. And that, that I don't deal with drama, even if it's coming from folks in the church. God loves us all, but come on now. Some of us are still drinking milk and we already should be eating meat. We should be eating meat, but we're still drinking milk. And then we get mad at one, at one another when we come with the truth. But see, I'm not going to compromise what God is doing in my life. I'm not going to compromise the truth. I'm not going to compromise anything for making somebody else feel good. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do it. Because at the end of the day, I have to be accountable for what I'm doing and what I'm speaking. When his brother saw that their father loved him more than of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. The same passage also discussed two dreams Joseph had that, it, that angered his brothers. God bless you, Brittany. The dreams indicated his brothers would someday bow to him. So whatever they're doing to you now, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, they're going to have to come down and they're going to have to repent to you for the things that they've done. People will hurt you, do things to you, and will not repent to you. Joseph's brother also despised him due to their father's over favoritism towards him. Who am I talking to this morning? Who am I talking to? Because somebody on here has favor on them right now. And because of the favor, you are getting lashed you are getting things happening to you and you think oh, why god is this happening to me is because of the favor of god is on you just know that the favor of god is on you it's on you right now and people don't like it and some people don't like it they're upset that you're